Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. The attorney for the Hamilton County Election Commission is resigning after he gave advice to the leader of a petition drive against Chattanooga's same-sex benefits ordinance. Chris Klim resigned on Monday while the commission met to certify signatures on the petition. Before the petition began, Tea Party leader Mark West talked with Klim because he wanted to avoid any loopholes that could cause a problem. Klim says he didn't see anything wrong with giving West advice. But Election Commission Chairman Mike Walden later chided West for going to the state for advice. Klim says there was a disagreement between him and Walden, and Election Commissioner Jerry Summer says Klim was asked to resign or be fired. But Klim says the argument didn't affect his decision to resign. Instead, he says he wanted to get more involved with local political races and support his friends who are running for office. Signal Mountain has been rated as the best place to live in Tennessee. The town of nearly 8,000 residents received top scores in categories such as high school graduation, income, and home value. Plus, it has the lowest jobless rate in the state and the second lowest crime rate. The list was created by national real estate firm Movado. In case you're wondering, Chattanooga ranked 66th on the list. Chattanooga Police Chief Bobby Dodd is retiring. He says he has an opportunity lined up in the private sector. Plus, nearly all of his command staff also plan to retire at the end of the year. Deputy Chief Tommy Kennedy, Assistant Chief Kirk Eadson, and Captain Jeannie Snyder will retire December 31st. One councilman says growing tension over pension benefits likely contributed to the decisions to retire. Larry Grone says there's so much concern over the pension process that the city could be losing a large number of experienced officers at a time when the city needs them more than ever. Indeed, police and firefighter retirements have nearly doubled this year. Nevertheless, Mayor Andy Burke says the retirements will not deter his violence reduction initiative. Deputy Police Chief Stan Moffat will be serving as interim chief while the city searches for Dodd's replacement. In business news, online dining reservation service OpenTable has bought QuickQ. OpenTable paid $11.5 million in cash for the Chattanooga startup. QuickQ was founded by entrepreneur Aaron Welsh in 2011. The company was conceived during Chattanooga's 48-hour launch event and offers restaurants an iPad app to help manage wait lists and track customer preferences. The nine-member QuickQ team will remain in Chattanooga, and OpenTable says it will continue to support QuickQ's customers. But OpenTable will be discontinuing QuickQ's current product while it works on a new app. Finally, C-SPAN is filming a big feature on Chattanooga's history. The National Cable Network is running a special series next year on small and mid-sized cities around the country. Three C-SPAN reporters are roaming around the scenic city this week, conducting interviews with historians, authors, and civic leaders. To kick things off, the crew met with Mayors Andy Burke and Jim Coppinger at the Chattanooga History Center on Monday. The final project will debut on C-SPAN during a special Chattanooga weekend, January 18th and 19th. It will also be available to watch online or on local cable providers. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 56 degrees. The low tonight will be around 28. That's today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.